Hi guys, I'm back again and we have an unboxing. My first bell box. I was going to do a battle of the boxes um, with Lust Have It, Bella Box and Violet Box. However, Violet Box and Lust Have It Box have been, both not arrived. I've had notification on both of them that they were sent on the same day, so we'll see which one arrives first. Um, and then I'll do a battle between those two. We'll see which one turns out better. So this is the Bella Box for May, and it has this comes in a nice little box. It has this slippy thing with something about Jetstar. Mm. I don't know what that's all about. Whatever. No, I'm a things go everywhere. So, um, nice blue spotted box. Really nice box actually. Probably keep this box. And open it up. And inside it has like the little curry thing. I can smell something. Something is really, really strong. Um, it comes with a card thing which tells you what's in it. So, and a nice bit of black plastic. And we'll open it up. And what have we got? Okay. Um, it is a soap from Apelli's Apoth Apothecary. Um, this would be what smells. It's got eucalyptus um, in it, rosemary and lemon metal. Um, I will probably put get. Well, I'll probably give this away or something. Um, I don't use soap like this, um, and I don't have a guest bathroom to put it in. But um, and that apparently. Um, is five ninety five. So, um, and Bella box is fifteen, I believe. Just check that you know, because I can't actually remember off the top of my head. Um, do 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 do. Hmm. Um, 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 um. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, fifteen dollars a month, including shipping. So that's like six dollars of it. So we're doing alright so far. Um, next is a dicky little sample of. In visible ink tinted day wear. Now, this one at least is in light. The last time I got one of these, which was a full size one basically, it was in medium, which would be too dark for me. Um, I haven't actually used it, so I have no idea. But I don't really like little foil sample things. That's just me. Um, and that apparently is $32 for 50 grams. Holy shit! $32. Apparently that was a bonus too. Um, and next we have a When Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. Um, Apparently, this is one use, if I'm reading this correctly. It says to cleanse, rinse and repeat. If you do so, use half the packet for each cleanse. Um, yeah. I've heard of when. I've seen an infomercial for it. Apparently it's supposed to be good if you've dyed your hair, it's not supposed to strip the colour out. I'll try it out. Can't hurt. 
although I might try it out before I get my hair coloured again, which will be shortly, rather than afterwards. Um, this is for 480ml it is 35 bucks and this is 60ml so yeah it's kind of an expensive shampoo quite frankly <laughs> uh, next is a chapstick plain ordinary chapstick I'm not even going to open it because I have so many open at the moment um, this is like $3.99 so yeah okay uh, next we have a miracle rejuvenation rejuvenation I can't speak properly miracle rejuvenation mask from timeless truth for firm skin. Hmm. It's just a weird masky thing. Um, apparently they're eight dollars. So we've kind of covered our bases so far. Um, and the last thing in here, other than a special Bella Box offer on the when system stuff um, ten dollars off and free postage and handling so for like thirty dollars you get what looks to be a full size um, of the cleansing conditioner plus two other things so considering it's normally 35 bucks that's actually probably not a bad deal if you like it and the last thing is an Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel I actually already have one of these I have a full size of one of these um, got it in my brow kit um, so this one is 2.5 mil and for 7.93 grams it's $39 so this is yeah. Um, yeah I'm not even going to open it again I already have one um, probably when it's manky I'll just use this one because you know they go manky generally before you use them all um, yeah um, I'm not entirely I mean it's okay but it's um, yeah I don't know, I guess I was kind of expecting more than what I got. Not like more in terms of more product, but um, more stuff that actually excited me. Not stuff that I could buy anywhere, pretty much. None of it's really exclusive or indie or hard to obtain, except maybe the soap thing. and a face mask thing but neither of those are things that I'd buy normally anyway so um, yeah I guess I probably would have liked more cosmetic stuff but that's that's fine it's the first time and um, I'll probably give it a go for a little while and see how it is but um, yeah so that was my bell box and I will leave all the relevant information down below and I will see you next time see ya